oftentimes, our preference for peace and comfort is such that we avoid pain. We avoid starvation. We avoid cold. I took freezing cold showers in prison because that improves your mitochondrial biogenesis. One of the best things you can do besides starving is freezing. That took some getting used to. Getting in prison in the middle of January and turning on the shower as cold as it'll go and taking a, a three or four minute shower, it'll be a very quick shower. That's pain. And you don't stop shivering for a couple of hours because the prison's cold. But that makes you stronger on a genetic level, on a mitochondrial level. And so I needed it. My struggle is to embrace the pain. And so I continue to live like I did in prison. I, I, I work out an hour and a half, two hours a day. I do my 114 hour week fast. Um, I sleep on a tiny little cot and I'm never gonna, gonna look for the cushy, luxurious life because that ultimately makes you weaker. The concept of hormesis is very simply, what, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So pain and challenge leads to strength. That's how biology works. My, the word I use is transformation. It, it, it speaks about, you know, a butterfly transforms, right? Caterpillar transforms to a butterfly, right? And so that's, what, that's what's really happening. It's not overnight. There's no reset button. The caterpillar doesn't reset and become a butterfly. It transforms.